Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to sell this bucket for five dollars. Would you buy it? No, I'm disabled. I don't have no money. Oh, you don't have any money? No, I don't. All right, God bless you. Hi, excuse me, sir. I am so sorry to bother you. I'm trying to sell this Easter bucket for like five bucks. Do you think you can help me out and buy it for me? I need some money for my mom's medication. Okay. I got two dollars. I wasn't eating with it, but I'll help you for your mom. I, I will you have you. two dollars and you're going to help me with that? I will help you. No I'll way. For your mom. Just for because of my mom. You what were you gonna buy? You said you were gonna buy food. Uh, something to eat, you know. No way. Deal. Wow. Where, where do you usually live? Like where do you live right now? I live right here in front of the store. You live in front of the store. Ninety nine cent store. Ninety nine cent store. Do you like? And they help me out a lot. So they help you a lot. And I can help you. Wow. And that's the only two dollar that you had. You're willing to give it to me. That's all I have right now. Such a Sorry. such a blessed heart you have, man. And you were gonna buy food for yourself. You are an amazing person, man. Okay. Um, how long have you been living on the street like that? I think about two years. Two years? Two and what exactly, years. two to three years, and what exactly happened? How did you become homeless? Well, I came out here to go to rehab. And you came out here to go to the rehab? To rehab and yeah. then what happened? After I, I, I graduated, my mom passed away. After you graduated, your mom passed away, and then what happened after? Then after that, I, I, was, I was staying with her. I was trying. I was helping her. So you she, were helping your cancer. mom, and your mom was facing uh, suffering from cancer. Yeah. Oh my God! I'm so sorry. Yeah. And when did she pass away? Right, right as soon as I graduated from from the rehab. Wow. So you were in the rehab uh, because you were doing like uh, you had an addiction for I, for. I had an addiction. How how is that going so far? Have you been able to like get away with it, or are you still addicted to? It's still a fight. You're still fighting with it. I'm starting to win finally. It's it's hard. A, a yeah. lot of people don't understand that to get out of addiction is not easy. Some yeah. people think it's easy, but it's not. The only the person that can understand is the person that's into it right now. Yeah, and right. and what will be your good advice to people that are actually fighting addiction right now? What would you say to them? Just stay strong. If they, if they fight, just stay strong and say no. Say no. Say no. Keep saying no. Is that how you no you? Remember, remember. When people come to you, you say no to them sometimes. Yeah. Or or most of the time. I mean, most of the time. Most of the time. I, I do get weak sometimes. You do get weak. And uh, one question I always ask everybody: Do you believe in any kind of like high power? Do you believe in oh, God or anything? Yes, I do. Who yeah. do you believe in? You know, the one, the one God. And Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen. You're a believer, man. That's yes, you know what? I would recommend you, man. Start reading Bible. Um, and I think you will be able to, like you said, sometimes you're weak, right? You'll be able uh -huh. to get more stronger and more closer to God, because that's what we need, right? Yes. And 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 these things are not good for you, right? Look at your health. You have lost yeah. everything I've because lost of my you you've lost everything, right? Yeah. When when you say everything, what have you lost? Well, I've lost my family because they're out. They live in another town. But, you know, I see them every so often. They come down. But, but they don't want to help you, though, right? Well, they do, but I'm not going to put the burden on them. Oh, so they want to help you, but you don't take the, the burden from them. You're like, no. no. They make their own lives, and they have good lives. Why am I going to interfere? So, you know, I need... When I, but when they, I they, do, drug, they do know that you're living on the street. They know but just because you know you, you you're into addiction, they don't want to help. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Something like yeah. that, right? Uh, and and it's clean. a true story. There's nothing to be like embarrassed about. Yeah, no, we are all human. Yeah. I made I made mistakes. I messed up things in life. You know, yeah. we all learn from it. And and as a human, you know, we are all sinners. Nobody's yeah. sinless, right? Jesus yeah. died for us, yeah. so we can be sinless. But we have to now decide. He took away all the sins, right? That we have like through yeah. Adam and Eve. But now we have to decide in this world if we're gonna do this by ourselves. Like, are we gonna be going to the good side or are we gonna go to the bad side? Right? Yeah. That's that depends on us now. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. It does. That's where it gets hard. Right. It's us. So, if you're given a chance today, right now, to walk out of the addiction and be a good person, be a nice person, and get back to your regular life, would you do it? Yes, I would. So you would do it? Yeah. Best. Wow. And as far as the work wise, because I, I see you have like, what what is this thing called that you're sitting on? It's like uh, a chair? It's a, a walker. A walker. Okay. So uh, are you like having like a problem with your knees? Like you have a hard time walking? No, uh, the drugs have... Drugs have messed you up. Messed my heart up. 
Um, and are you in a security or something? Because you have a like a security security no, jacket no, or no? It was cold the other night and some, some somebody just gave it to you. A security jacket. guy gave it to you. A security guy gave me his jacket. Wow, that's such a nice man, man. You know what? There's a very very few people that are like kind like you, who had only two dollars, but still decided to help me. I went to like so many people, man. Yeah. Nobody wants to even help me with a dollar. Why is the world so messed up right now? Like nobody wants to help. Why is like why is the world I going? I really don't know. I think it's because we're in end times, maybe. Uh, you you think we're in the end times? We are I actually. Really that. Yeah, we are actually in the end times because the way the love is taken away from the world, yeah. nobody wants to help anybody. People are just hustling. They just want to think about themselves. They don't want to help people around them. Exactly. So so it's it's really sad but messed up at the same time, man. Um, what I want you to do is hold this bucket. Since you decided to help me, this this bucket does it look like a regular bucket? It looks nice. And and I made it by with my hand. What do you think? It's, it's, do you think it's pretty cute? The best two dollars ever spent. Best two dollars ever spent. All right. What I want you to do, I want you to um, turn it around. See, this is not a regular bucket. So you look at the face, turn it around, and and see what it says on there. Twenty thousand dollars. Yep. So since you have decided to help me, man, what I want to do for you is give you this, man. Are you serious? I am serious, man. That's real money. Yeah, that is real money, man. Thank you, man. Thank yeah, God bless you, bro. Since you decided to help me, just be humble. Just the way you decide to help me, just keep helping other people, man. All right. All right. You are a good man. God bless you, all right?